Hey y'all, today we're going to be showing you how we do our interior window trim in a farmhouse style. So let's get into it. Starting with the bottom piece, it is a one by four that has already been primed. Notice that we made it long enough to extend to the edge of the one by fours that we will put on the sides. Make sure that this piece is flush with the window sill. Once we have it in place, we nail it with a 16 gauge finish nailer using two and a half inch nails. Here's what the framing around the window looks like so you have an idea of what you have to nail into. Now we're going to put up the side trim pieces. These are one by fours as well. Make sure to make these pieces flush with the side jam. Moving on to the top, it is going to be made out of three separate pieces. The first piece is a one by two. It is going to be laid on its side and it will extend one inch past the edge of the side trim on both sides. We place a nail on each end down into each piece of the side trim. The next piece is a one by six. This piece will line up with the edges of the side trim pieces, so no overhang. After that piece is in place, we went back and we put a few nails into the bottom piece to secure it in place. The last piece is another one by two with a one inch overhang on each end. And I used the finished nailer to nail it down from the top. Here's a closer look at the top section to give you a better idea of what it looks like. For a nice finishing touch, we're going to put a small piece of molding at this joint up against the window. We rip some pieces down to one inch by half inch. I push these in place up tight against the window and secured them in place with finished nails. This is what the molding looks like when it is all in place. It gives a nice finished look and covers any gaps between the casing and the window. Now that all the pieces are in place, it is time to do all the finishing and painting. First, I put primer on any unprimed pieces. When the primer was dry, I put wood filler in all the nail holes. When the wood filler was dry, I sanded it smooth. Next, I applied caulk to every joint and smoothed it out. The final step is to apply the finished coat of paint. This is what it looks like when everything is finished. My dad came up with this design and I think it looks really nice and it fits in perfectly with the craftsman style of our house. These windows that I showed you today are in our garage, but we did use this trim throughout the interior of our house as well. Here are a few of the windows from inside the house just to give you an idea of what this trim looks like on a few different styles of windows. <music> 